Why, hello everybody, welcome, my name is Ruby Dong, welcome to today's episode. As you can see, I'm over here at the main base, and thank goodness those villagers are gone. Hoo-wee! I didn't want to deal with them for a second more, let me tell you. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed last episode. Oh man, I <laughs> that, was a, that was a hard one. <laughs> I'm just so talkative, it's really hard to not talk, let me tell you. <laughs> yes, so, anyways guys, I'm over here at the main base. I'm here to do a little bit of work. Uh, for one, I'm wanting to complete out one of the things that I've been uh, set up for a while. I tried doing this a couple episodes back, and I want to actually, like, off-camera-ish, I want to kind of acknowledge that I'm in the process of doing this on camera. But I am wanting to finish up uh, moving up all my tree farm stuff because I'm getting really tired of uh, my log outputs being halved. I'm wanting to... Uh, for this part, this part is still completely torn out. I'm wanting to uh, raise that ceiling by one block and this platform by one block. The reason why I'm having to do it like that is because uh, trees now grow through dirt. So it ruins this tree farm. So I now need to raise everything by one. But technically I only need to raise this by one because trees don't grow through glass. So I don't need to worry about raising it by two blocks. I just need to raise it by the one. So I am going to be going through and doing that. Uh, but another special thing that I'm also wanting to set up is just in passing that I'm gonna drop down there. I'm gonna put a hopper there quickly. So I'm just gonna quickly go through and try to do a little bit of that. That's not gonna be the main focus of today's episode though. All right, I went through and have put in the glass and the bottom level all on the correct layer. So I have that now nice and finished, all the glasses put up here. I didn't bother moving the wood up because honestly, this this looks fine. <laughs> like, it's like slightly bulged out. I could, I, this is an easy fix if I really wanted to bother. I just have to dig out all of these slabs, put in one block of wood and put the slabs back down. It's not that hard, but I'm not gonna do it. You know why? Because this looks fine. And when something looks fine, you don't change it. <laughs> And I also uh, moved this layer up here as well, so that is now nice and good. And I also put in all these slabs on the bottom portion there. So I'm wanting to go through now, grab a couple of saplings. I also want to lie down in my bed because it's nighttime. <laughs> snoring, 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 snoring. And grab a couple of saplings so that way I can actually begin getting the tree farm up and operational again because I, I I typically use my tree farms off camera and having a farm be operational is quite necessary. Uh, in case you're curious, yes, I did just go to the bottom layer to grab saplings even though I have saplings in my uh, upstairs bulk storage thing. Um, I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> Ignore the fact that I just talked about it. <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered to go up to that bulk storage just to grab like a stack of saplings every single time I use that tree farm. So I have like minor saplings. I try to only keep it to be like a stack or two down there. So yeah, that's just a thing I'm doing. But now I'm time for me to just go through here and put in all the saplings, get a little bit of extra wood, and then uh, to work on the next part of the base. Oh, I also need to get rid of this. Shoot. All right. Now that I got some logs here, so I can actually begin going through and doing a little bit of structural work. AKA, there is a part of my base that's been sticking out for a while that has been unlogged. And now it is time for me to log it. Dang it. Uh, wait, did I? Oh, wait, okay. Survive the damage. Ah. <laughs> but yes, now it's time for me to go through here and begin actually putting in the struts for this area. It's going to be slow work. Eh. <laughs> Void half a heart at a time. Eh. Good thing I got feather falling boots, right? Yeah, feather falling boots. Sweet. Uh, but yes, now it's time for me to be going through here and slowly putting in the struts. I'm just going to be trying to see how many I can do. I'm hoping it's not going to be too harsh. Why didn't I do it like this way? Oh, wait, I know exactly why I didn't do it like this way. Um, aha! I avoided damage. Woohoo! 
But yeah, I'm going to be putting this in and then I'll be back with you guys, hopefully with a good amount of the actual struts put in. Hopefully I can get the base nice and sealed off. Aha! <laughs> Parkour master. Uh, but yes, I'm going to be putting these in and I'll be back with you guys here in a second, hopefully with all the struts nice and in place. Alright, I have gone through and I have put in all of the struts and I also went through part of the base and put in all of the walling that was missing because I previously had the windows but not all the walling. So, I've went through I've put in all the little struts here. Hopefully that looks nice and good. But I also did all the walling including all the way up to the center here and did the little center struts which I like. I like this little intersection area that I was doing because I wanted to have a little bit of a branch off so I could head out that way, this way, and that way, but I didn't want to just do a little room again. I wanted to make it kind of uh, coherent with the walls, so I have this little circle thing, and I think that worked out well. I didn't do the walls here. I didn't even do the struts here. I really should, but uh, I can put struts here, but this is basically just the uh, race tester, in which case, in case anyone doesn't know, just run through, and I have a speed of seven. <laughs> I'm sure that lines up. Uh, I think if I sprint jump, it'll be faster. Or maybe I have to sprint. <laughs> okay, eight, okay. <laughs> I was like, hmm, that shouldn't be slower. <laughs> then I also went through here and I have done part of the actual wheat farm, in which case all it needs is these two walls right here. And this is relatively done. I also put a staircase right here so I can access this chest and this one. So that way I can dump bone meal into the two chests here. Well, two chests, the two dispensers. So that way I can plant something, then the uh, dispensers grow it. Um, I also can hop on top of this if I really want to access the back end here. Which is basically just all the terrible redstone that I have done in order to get this thing to work. Really, this thing can be made significantly more compact, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I've already made it once, and if it's going to work now, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I now have all of these struts put in here, and now what I want to do is begin putting in the actual enclosing roof of this area, so that way it's, well enclosed so i'm going to begin trying to put in uh the section of that and then hopefully be back with you guys with a good amount of the actual roof enclosed in here so that way you know i'm can't i'm not going to be standing on this pathway getting rained on all right i've gone through and i've put in a nice cobble ceiling that matches up with the rest of the base over here Meaning that the big ceilings I'm going to need uh, for this, not the ceilings as in the actual roof, ceiling as in the ceiling up of this area is the bookshelves. Uh, and also technically the brick. I need to put the brick out, but I always need brick. Brick is, oh man, why did I use brick on the space? I knew, I said for the very first episode I began using brick, I said, oh man, I'm going to hate myself because... Oh man, it's so hard to get brick. It's supposed to be a rare resource in this game. It's not a rare resource, it's just annoying because it's non-renewable. <laughs> oh man, it's so hard. I can't make a brick farm. But yes, I now have all of this area nice and closed off. And in addition to that, ta-da, I have put up walling for the actual running area. So... I actually have this place nice and well, spiffy, I guess. <laughs> I need to put up the glass and all the struts as well. So, and more of the base needs more struts, but uh, let's face it, the base is always incomplete. So, I also took the ceiling and I put it all the way up to here. So now, this little compact area actually has a little roof to it. I won't be able to access the outside redstone anymore doing this. But that's kind of why I put the chest here. I didn't want to bother doing with the redstone. And I also went the stairs so that way I could, you know, actually load bone meal in here without having to jump. And now I can't. <laughs> I have an actual ceiling to keep me from doing that. Woo! Uh, also, from doing this, uh, I won't have the dumb situation, in which case uh, I'll get pushed up by the farmland and then fall back down and trample it. But technically, I would need to be standing right here to do that, because technically farmland's like a little bit lower than that. So, hmm. Either way, I won't have that be done, I guess. <laughs> also, I can get rid of this now. In so long. You are now part of my inventory. Thank you. <laughs> 
Uh, another companion table. Man, it's an old <laughs> it's an old thing for my series, man. I doubt anyone's been watching that long. I highly doubt anyone's been watching long enough no companion table. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's going to be doing it for today's episode. I still have a whole bunch of work to get done on the base, like this whole area, for example. I have the bookshelves in, which is kind of backwards, but I don't have the walls, the glass, or the ceiling, so it's still another part of the base that needs to get done, and I have this whole section over here. Egads, this section is... Ooh, wait, there's a mushroom over here? There's a chicken? Oh, you. <laughs> What are you doing over here? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat, but you're in a weird place, let me tell you. Is there any further ones? Yeah, I also have a little bit of a walling over here, which is kind of odd. There's a little gap in it. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be doing- why is there an Enderman here? Is he angry? Okay. Alright then. <laughs> I don't know what on earth that's about, but here we are. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be doing it for today's episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed. That's going to be it. I'll be seeing you guys here in the next one. So long. See ya. Bye. Ooh, I need to clear these guys out. Ugh. Books, it's fine. Charcoal. Coal. More bookshelves. Uh, you can... Wool, that's fine. Old paper, that's great. Yeah, 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 okay, that's fine.